Okay, we are back. It's the frog, John Adams, croaking his way through the New Year's Day. And our very special guest is Peter Burke. Happy New Year, Peter. Happy New Year, John, Margie, and everyone else out there. Welcome to 2022. 2022, a year. You know, I am often reminded of the Roman god Janus, for whom January was named, which was often, he was often pictured as a coin on a coin. He was often pictured as having two faces, one looking forward and one looking back. And I'm going to ask you to talk to us a little bit about real estate and mortgage rates. And I want you to look back a little bit at 2021. And then I'd like you to look forward a little bit uh, to 2022. Before we do that, though, I do want to remind everyone that they can reach you um, on New Year's Day, if they need to, at 678-557-9759, or they can just text you, and you'll give them a ring back. So I say pick up the phone and start the conversation. But here's my question. What do you think is going to happen with interest rates and prices and so forth? I know you keep a, a finger on that. What do you see out there? Any areas of concern? Well, I think we've already had a taste of it the last uh, few months where we've seen a, a clear increase in interest rates, quarter of a point maybe is uh, the way to look at it, uh, maybe three-eighths. Um, and I don't see anything on the short-term horizon that says that will stop. Um, where it ends, I don't know. Uh, I think I saw someone say three and three-quarters is is uh, expected by the end of the year. And quite possibly that's right. That would be probably another half point, five eighths to get there. Um, and that's uh, entirely possible. Peter, I have a terrible time um, crying what are admittedly crocodile tears for the people who are going to get a rate of three and three quarter. Because when I started in real estate, I was selling new homes in Gwinnett County at 17 and three quarter percent fixed rate mortgage. Actually, they weren't. They, they were negative AM mortgages, which is even worse. And we did a brisk business at 17 and three quarter percent. Is, is three and three quarter or four percent? That's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, John, I've seen them in the last 10 years as five, six percent. So to say we're at three and three quarters uh, sounds like a relative bargain. Now, I have read that a lot of people who were thinking about refinancing have decided, well, uh, now that rates are slightly up, just a spec, they're not going to bother with it. Is that smart? Well, I think you have to look at what you've got. And that is um, the one person or type of category that um, needs to stop and think are those that have arms where this year you may actually see your rate decline the way some arms are constructed and fall into a false sense of security, believe it or not. And speaking from someone who has an arm on a property, I'm going to see the rate go down but it's going to catch back up in the following year. Um, that's the one category. If you've got an arm, read your, um, your arm adjustment notice and, or the letters you've been getting, or call me up and we'll calculate what it'll be together. That's one component. The other one are the folks that have home equity lines of credit right. that are tied uh, to prime or some other index it's obvious those are going up, they're adjustable rates, they adjust as the rate increases. And wow. um, if you've got a substantial amount out on your line of credit and you don't foresee paying it down, um, you need to take a breather and, and look at your whole situation of your first mortgage and second mortgage and does it make sense 
to combine the two into another fixed rate loan. All right. Well, and I saw it in the Wall Street Journal, um, something I wanted to ask you about, because frankly, and uh, as you know, I think I know everything, but this was something I did not know about. And I said, because Peter knows everything, he will know. There was some big deal about LIBOR, and the person writing the article acted like this was the most important um, mortgage change in the history of the world. And yeah. I, I know that LIBOR is the London Interbank Exchange or, uh, offering rate. I don't know what that means or why that's important. And what happened? Why do we care? You know, I believe it was determined that um, it wasn't um, a bona fide rate that could be reliably relied on. So there was a need to switch to a new index. Um, it's, it's been a few years since that topic came up, but um, it's kind of gone um, by the wayside. I don't want to say that there was artificial manipulation with it, but I kind of got the impression there was artificial manipulation with that rate for the benefit of those um, who controlled it or monitored it or established it. I, I don't know. Well, I, it, I, my guess is, or at least it sounds like, we now have an increased level of transparency. And to that extent, I think that's a good thing. So, um, and what about, Peter, people that have debt that they would like to consolidate or debt that is adjustable in nature? Somebody's got a, a car loan that's tied to something, a prime interest rate, or somebody's got... Um, credit card debt that they've been carrying and hoping to pay it off, but they haven't gotten around to. Should these people pick up the phone and call you? Yeah, you know, I'm still of the nature uh, of the opinion taking unsecured debt and securing it is a bitter pill to swallow, uh, such as credit card debt. Um, but if it's um, if there's no alternative to it, at least look at the options of um, rolling it into your mortgage. Um, again, some will say it's unsecured and uh, you're now making it secured debt. I agree. But I, I, I think you just have to take a serious look at it and determine what's it going to take to get out from under it. But, well, but, and, but I will go back to the home equity line of credit issue could be something that... Um, could adversely affect us. I don't know to the extreme of what lines of credit are out there, but those are ones where you're seeing the increase today. And if you're only making an interest only payment, it's going to go up. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something we'd like to avoid if possible. Well, I am just going to encourage everybody um, based on this projection that we may see rates going up a half a percent, maybe, I mean, who knows, maybe as much as three quarter. I'm not looking for a big jump in interest rates in 2022. Are you? Uh, I don't think um, it's going to be out of the ordinary. I, I, I don't foresee a, a substantial jump. I, if it did, it would choke the economy. And uh, I, I, I don't think the administration is prepared to, to deal with that. Well, I, I, if, if they decide to deal with it, I'm, I'm going to move to the Bahamas or something. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Peter, happy new year to you, a prosperous one as well. And I would just encourage all of our friends watching and listening right now to pick up the phone and start the conversation. If you have debt or are considering debt in any form related to real estate, call Peter Burke. 678-557-9759. Happy New Year, Peter. Happy New Year, everyone. John, Margie, talk to you next week.